Hello, it's Tess Whitehurst, and I am here with your reading for the week of November 8th, 2021. So this is from my Cosmic Dancer Oracle. And for today and tomorrow and the first part of Wednesday, so first part of the week, we got some in the rain. And actually, if you read the Oracle deck book, the guidebook, it says to do a dance ritual to manifest what you want to create. But when I saw this today, my intuition told me summon the rain is actually to cry, to summon your tears. So that might not sound like the best idea, <laughs> but it is, believe me. Actually, crying is so healing. It's amazing. It's a miraculous thing. It feels like sometimes before we cry, it feels like if you cry, it will just, you'll just feel pain forever and that's it. Just like horrible pain, bad news, stay away from crying. But actually when you cry, you're moving, you're cleansing, you're getting kind of tension moving. I don't know if you've noticed after you have a good cry, you sleep better, you laugh deeper. So if you know, I mean, I actually, I think part of why I tuned into that was because I had such a healing cry on Saturday. It wasn't really a specific thing. It was like a feeling, it was a number of kind of things I thought of. It was kind of like the pain of just how intense emotion is in life. You probably might have that sometimes I'm thinking <laughs> if you're, you know, empathic as many people are who follow me. And so I, and I could feel like, I, I know this feeling. This is the feeling of needing to have a good cry. And then I started and then I was like, okay, I'm just going to let it rip. And I cried so much and so deeply and it felt so great. And I did sleep well and I did laugh deeply and I did feel amazing the next day. So I feel like I might have some more tears I can summon, <laughs> but if you haven't summoned any tears lately, especially think about how you can do that. Monday, Tuesday, first part of Wednesday. And actually dancing can help with that. If you've never done this, then it might not, it might be hard to believe, but try it if you haven't, if you feel like trying it. If you put on some heartfelt music, like something that's like, oh yeah, when I hear that, I just, my heart opens or I feel it in my body or it feels very tender to me. And it definitely does not need to be dance music, traditional dance music. It's, for me, it's usually something more like a ballad or like a folk song or something. And if you put that on and you in maybe light a candle when you're by yourself and then just let your body move how it wants to move or not move if it doesn't want to move. But the idea is you let the music into your cells. You let it in so that it can transform you. When it does that and you let yourself move, or not, but you let the music move through you, it moves your emotions. So if you have any tears to be shed, you may, may very well shed them when you do this sort of ritual. Hip movement also helps because we can store emotions in our hips as yoga instructor, instructors know. Okay, so then for the second half of the week, so second half of Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we got Stretch and Expand, which is so perfect for Thursday, which is 11-11, because um, Thursday is the day of expansion, because it's the day of Jupiter. And 11-11, the number, if you are geeky about New Age numbers like I am, it is a number of, like, planting seeds of expansion. So on 11-11, but really the second half of the week in general, feel, what do you want to create? How do you want to, like, what do you want to feel when you manifest what you want to manifest? And then feel gratitude for that. Feel like, oh, I just oh, feel so good to have this thing. Like, bring it in, whatever it is. And it's okay if it's like, it could be sort of seemingly shallow or it could be deep. It could be like a relationship or it could be a car. It's really like when we're manifesting, there's, if there's joy there, if there's like, oh, there's just something there, then that's going to propel us toward it personal expansion. We'll, we will learn when we follow that. So find how you want to expand what you want to experience and get into the feeling of that over the second half of the week. 
And then on the weekend, for the weekend, we got Adorn the Temple. So this is about remembering that your body is a sacred space. This is the place where form meets spirit for you in this lifetime. It's where your soul lives. It's the sacred physical being that propels you from place to place, lets you experience this world, this whole thing, this whole lifetime. So thinking of adorning your body in a way that is sacred, it, it could be just taking care of your body or it could be uh, like decorating it in a way like decorating a temple, moving out of the paradigm that we get from popular culture that is that adorning our bodies with clothes or makeup is shallow or that it's something for other people. It's some way to, you know, fit some sort of a mold, letting go of that paradigm and letting it be something that you do out of self-love and self-compassion and self-kindness and also honoring the way divinity is showing up in this body in this lifetime the divinity that is you so this is from once again my cosmic dancer oracle thank you so much for watching i hope you have a magical week